Bear Box Ranch Granny here, and today we're going to be making an applesauce cake. This is super easy, really good. It's delicious in the morning if you'd like to have it with coffee. What I'm going to do with my cake, my cake, if you remember a couple of weeks ago, we did caramel sauce. So I'm going to take my cake and I'm going to punch holes in it with this wooden spoon. And the reason is, is the caramel will pour into all these little holes. So when you slice this applesauce cake, mm -hmm, it will be just doused with some caramel. This is just awesome. Now this cake is made, of course, with applesauce. What you start is you start with... Um, and for this size, my cake, I doubled the recipe because I put it in a big pan. It normally goes in an 8x8 pan. Heat your oven to 350. Grease and flour that pan real good. And then mix half a cup of softened butter to a cup of sugar. Beat it until it's real creamy. Now you're going to have your applesauce in the refrigerator because it does better with a cold applesauce. Add one cup of chilled applesauce you and mix that all in together and then you're going to add two cups of flour one teaspoon of bacon soda one teaspoon of cinnamon a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves half a cup of walnuts and half a cup of raisins you know, like them little california raisins remember them, don't you? You remember the little guy, the wrinkly guy? Not wrinkly like grandma, but wrinkly. Whole lot different. Whole lot better wrinkly. They better wrinkly than I am. Anyway, you put it in the oven and let it cook for 40 minutes. At the end of 40, you take a toothpick and pull it out. If it comes clean, your cake is perfect. A couple of weeks ago, we made the caramel sauce. So I've got that already made. And a punch toast all in this cake. And we're just going to drizzle. Drizzle. Kind of like, you know, rain, raindrops keep falling on my head. Oh, is Grandma telling her age? I bet not everybody remembers those songs. Nice thing about adding this nice sweet caramel... That's how I keep Paul interested. You know, they say to a man's heart is through his stomach. I've been working a long time on that stomach. Drizzle just a little more. We wanted to get in all them little holes I punched with my wooden spoon. Of course, once we get it all drizzled up real good, we're going to stick this baby in the refrigerator and that caramel sauce will settle and get it's kind of solid. And then we'll be able to slice this up, fill up them little volcanoes. Oh. Fill up them little volcano holes. Yeah. Oh, Paul, I'm thinking about you right now, Paul. I'm getting sweet, my sweet. Put it in the refrigerator just probably about 30 minutes. Let that, that caramel sauce kind of get a little texture to it. Woo, babe. That is good. Well, this is Gearbox Ranch Granny. And don't forget, pray to your Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless every one of you. And I will see you next week.